Have you ever asked yourself, God, have you forgotten me? Or maybe you found yourself in a place where you just don't know what to do. Maybe you've even whispered words similar to, please God, no more hard things. I found myself in situations like this, consumed by doubt and worry. On the outside, I look like I have it all together, but on the inside, mental and emotional turmoil wreak havoc. You see, my struggle with doubt stems from a lie I believe. If I make the wrong decision, I'll miss out on God's best. I know this isn't true, but sometimes the doubt I wrestle with paralyzes me from making decisions and causes a lot of stress in my relationships. It's this exact reason that when flooded, the five best decisions to make when life is hard and doubt is rising by Nikki Koziars came across my desk. I knew we had to study it. I felt like she understood me and spoke things straight to my restless and overthinking heart. God has been working on this message through Nikki for over six years and now is the time he chose to release it. I couldn't be more thankful because the truths in this book are something we all need, no matter the hard situations we face, and I want you to join me in this study. Together, we'll answer the question, what do you do when life is hard and doubt is rising? And we'll study closely the life of Noah and each week unpack five decisions we can see he made based on his actions. These decisions are simple, but hard. I have a lot of hopes for you as we study this message together, but my greatest hope is that God will meet you as you open this book and change something deep in you doubt has tried to destroy. Let's do this.